hello friends welcome back to my channel it parivar so guys in this video today i am going to show you how to set warning and interactive login message for all domain users for security region or to warn users i will show you step by step each and everything but before going ahead request you to please subscribe it parivar just to support me and just to motivate me and don't forget to click on bell icon so that whenever i'll upload the new videos you will get the notification okay so let's start now this is my domain controller okay i logged into my domain controller remotely let me log off from this and re-log in so that i i can show you if there is a warning message or interactive login message set for now or not so this is my domain controller ip and as i don't have a test machine so i'll show you uh, for this testing for warning message or interactive login message on my domain controller only okay but yes if you have a test machine or if you have client machines which are domain joint you can uh, test in same way okay so let me log in here and i'll show you i'm talking about what okay doing yes so see it is directly logged in right we we haven't get any message like warning message or any uh, other message right so that is what i am going to uh, set here using group policy and then i'll again real uh re-login by logging off and then i'll show you uh how to set it and if it is set successfully or not so let me uh, open here group policy management now okay this is my 2022 server 2022 domain controller okay and i am going to open group policy management console here Group policy management is loading. It is taking some time. Still loading. Yeah. So you can see here the domain name is it uh, dot land for uh, for this domain. Okay and. Let me expand this here you can see few uh, policies like common wallpaper policy default domain policy okay if we'll go here under group policy objects these are the policies uh, we have for this domain maybe in your case there will be multiple or uh, limited uh, group policies so uh, if you want to set warning message or login message uh, for all your domain users or for all your organization user company users so either you can create one new group policy and uh, set it uh, or you can or link it to the domain level or you can use the default domain policy which is already you know linked for the uh, all uh, users you can say i mean it's domain level okay so as it is linked to the domain level level you can see here it's it's linked for domain level so if we'll do any changes in this default domain policy uh, then it will be reflected for all the domain users so if you want you can edit this policy and you can set the user logon uh warning message or interactive login message or if you want you can create new group policy also and link it here on the domain level so that it will be i mean logon message will be visible for or it will be set for all the domain users if you want to set for any specific user or any like or any specific department like if you have any uh, if you have hr users it users and if you want to set for those 
specific users so you need to make sure you will link that group policy to the those users uh, respective OUs okay I mean if you want to set it for HR users only or IT users only or any I mean production user or whatever you have you have to link that group policy to the uh, respective OU and make sure all those users are in that OU for for whom you are going to set it okay so for now i am going to set it for all uh, domain users so i am going to use this default domain policy okay i am going to do right click here edit and policies windows setting expand this security setting then local policies then security options okay scroll down you will see here like uh masses logon interactive logon message text for users attempting to log on okay and interactive logon message title for users attempting to log on okay double click on this and click to define here you can mention like this is uh it per organization you can mention your your company name or your organization name organization property or machine whatever you want to set property so make sure you are performing authorized authorized access or activities you can set it as per your, your requirement okay apply okay click uh, double click on this interactive logon message title set to define and here you can mention like warning okay apply okay it is it is also up to you what what you want to set here it is i i am going to use this just for warning so i am mentioning your warning Wait, okay and as we have linked this uh, policies i mean this is the default domain policy which is linked for the domain level so it will be you know uh, it will be set for all the machines all the users so if i if if i log into my domain controller i will get the this warning message here also on my domain controller so just for the testing purpose let me sign out from this domain controller and let me re-log in and let us see if that is that warning message is set or not maybe cd minus one two I'm sorry it is not set yet let me do one thing run GP update okay now let me log off let me re-log in yes see warning this is a different organization property so make sure you are performing authorized access or activities 
right so once you will configure the group policy and run the gp update you will get this warning message on your client machine on your servers right whenever any user will log into the client machine or server that user will get this warning message right so guys in this way we can set the warning message or interactive login message for the all domain users okay so i hope this video will be helpful for you so guys again i request you to please subscribe like and share with your friends and don't forget to click on bell icon thank you bye bye